we don't make mistakes. Don't worry about that. I'm glad Mr. Donay didn't stay to hear me. He said he's very Oh, he's really tough. Well, it's very hard work. It is, yes. But you love it, don't you? Well, I love it, especially when the audiences want to hear you play. But, you know, there's nothing that feels like the music when it transports you and lifts you into... Well, you can tell when you play. Yeah, I hope so. Come on, sweetheart, we're going to go now. Leave it there. Okay. Oh, oh, look, Daddy's coming. Oh, well, then I better get going, too. You know, Paul arrived in town this morning oh, unexpectedly. Sweetie. Hello, oh, Daddy. Paul's here. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, Catherine. Hi. Now, your timing's perfect now Annie? that you're here. Hi. Yeah. I'm Daddy. Hi. Oh, well, yeah. I've just called in to see you for a few minutes. That's all. Oh, well. That's your dog, Barky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it is. It's funny that he, just, he hasn't come downstairs to greet you. Well, um, he's just letting me know that he's there. Right. Right. Well, right. when Mommy and me got here, he came downstairs to greet us, didn't he, Mom? Yes, he did. Well, uh, yeah, he'll be. You down. like him, don't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I love him. What, you, Mad's best friend? Mad's best friend. <laughs> well, he usually comes down to greet your father. Usually. usually. Yeah, well, what happens is he comes down and I run around and, and, and act frightened and it's all a big gun. <laughs> he does a great job. He does a great job of acting frightened. Yeah. 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 You know cool. what? He hasn't okay. been down here yet to chase you. I wonder if something's wrong. Well, maybe you should go upstairs. Stairs tell to him. see yeah. him. Yeah. And tell right. him. Right. Right. I'll, 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 I'll be there. We have to go. Okay. Oh, can't you stay until Paul gets here? Oh, he's on his way. Uh, yeah, Paul, Paul's back in town. Yeah. Well, he's just here for the benefit concert tomorrow night and the reception at the quarter means tomorrow night. What's going on, Andy? What do you got there? Huh? In an envelope. Where'd you get that from? Here, 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 get up, here. There's it. And warm. Oh, well, you had a long yeah. hike, didn't you, Carl? Uh, uh, feels great. Ah, good. Robin, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And uh, Mrs. Lavery, it's oh, yes. nice to see you nice again. Nice to see you again, too, I'm sure. Oh, hello there. Hi, good to see you again. It's always good to be back with Catherine. Are you about through here, darling? Yeah, yes, I'm done. Okay. I must admit I'm glad to be getting a ride home. Oh, I can imagine you are. Well, I'm all through here. Robert, the cottage is all yours. Thank you. Oh, we're, we're going to go. Uh, stick around. I've got to get back to the office in a while. Well, I'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. You too. Thank you. I'll just have this drink, and then I'll go back to the hotel and change. Is there any place special you'd like to go for dinner tomorrow? Well, Mary would really like to make us dinner here, if that's all right with you. Mm. It's fine with me. Right. But I'm not dreaming of you out there in the field. I'm dreaming of Mary's cooking. <laughs> well, I'll tell her she'll love that. You know, incidentally, I asked Claude what the two of you were discussing this morning after I left. I strongly suspect that it was about me. Right you are. Donna insisted upon it. Do you uh, ever get tired of his mad genius act? It's not quite an act, Paul. As you know, he was, could have been a brilliant concert pianist, and uh, he lives vicariously through me. And You know, he may run a part of my life, but only my professional life. Yes, well, I think he left a little room in your life for me anyway. Oh, wasn't that nice of him? He's worried about you, sweetheart. Uh, well, he's always worried about me. He thinks Robert Scorpio is causing too much distraction in your life. Claude's gone way overboard about him. See, Robert Scorpio is very difficult, but at times he can be fun. And that's all there is to it, Paul. Uh, what Claude doesn't realize is that a few distractions are good for the soul. I agree. Well, you're one of the most level-headed men I've ever known. Well, thank you. Oh. With as much 
time as we spend apart. It's a good thing I am so level-headed. Oh, well, now you're acting like I don't have any common sense in me at all. Oh, I know you do. I, I think I curbed one of Claude's crazy ideas anyway. <laughs> one of which one? That I should be jealous of Robert Scorpio. You're not, are you? Rest assured, my dear. I'm not jealous of Robert Scorpio. Yeah, in my office, right away. Thanks. Hi, oh, Lux. Sit down. Hi. Just stop by for a minute. Where's Robin? Oh, she's downstairs. She's getting booked. What? Yeah, you know, the whole deal. Fingerprints, photographs, something. What did she do? <laughs> Nothing yet. Uh, it's Sam giving her a demonstration, that's all. I hope they stop short of locking her up. Well, anyway, the reason I'm here... You don't need a reason. Oh, I know I don't need a reason, but I thought of one. And that oh. is... Robin and I have been talking, and, um... Well, you're not getting anywhere with Catherine Delafield. And so, it's not taking it personally, but we thought perhaps it isn't any of our business, so... I don't mind. I know, I know you don't mind, but all we're trying to do is, is get you back into the swing of the social atmosphere. And please, would you come to the party tomorrow night, please? <sighs> okay, I'll give it very serious thought, all right? Excuse me. Come in. Ah, oh, Hamilton. Good. Listen, I, uh, want something analyzed as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Yes, Commissioner. There's some scrapings I removed from a piano harp. I uh, want a complete um, breakdown and analysis from the lab. Care to tell me what you're looking for, Commissioner? Somebody once told me that champagne doesn't contain enough alcohol to cause the, a kind of corrosion. That being the case, I want to know what was in said champagne to cause that damage. Here you go. Yes, sir. Thank you. Nice to see you, Mrs. Lavery. Yeah, you too. I want to know if it's poison. Someone trying to poison you? I don't think so. You recall the uh, Delafield engagement party a short time back? Mm -hmm. Call it my over-suspicious mind, but I just want an answer. About what? There was a glass of champagne poured that evening, which fortunately nobody consumed. Finished up inside of the piano and caused a considerable amount of damage to the harp and a bit of corrosion to the strings. I want to know what the substance was. Oh, Robert, I mean, if it was that corrosive. It means that somebody had it in for someone at that party. 